thesis actually examines the conditions of communities that are vulnerable to climate change and it examines their potential, it explores their potential to become the pioneers um, of our adaptation to this new world that is created by climate change. So we used Mekong Delta as a testing bed. So our research is actually anchored upon the conditions of Mekong Delta and how they are affected by climate change, how it affects the agriculture, the fisheries, and basically the basic livelihood of, of that community. We look for potential for them to eventually adapt and to adopt new ways of living, new ways of surviving and eventually thriving in this new environment that has been created by climate change. So because the project is based in Mekong Delta, which is actually uh, very vulnerable to rising sea levels, my design is actually a speculative fiction that explores how humans can be living in this new aquatic territory. The topic of this thesis happens to align with um, the Jacques Rougerie competition vision, how it encourages architects, students, um, and designers to imagine new typologies, new building typologies, or new communities that could be designed within this aquatic territory, especially as defined by the sea level rise. When I went to the ceremony and I met a lot of people who were involved in the jury or in the organization of the award. I met people from UNESCO, met astronaut and um, even famous architects and it was very encouraging to see they acknowledge the work that I've done in school even though I'm, I'm only a student. So it was actually exciting to see that even the industry or even international organizations like uh, UNESCO are looking at visionary projects and actually being inspired by it. So sometimes it feels like uh, there's a gap between the pragmatism of the industry compared to um, the way that we are encouraged to be innovative in school, in SUTD especially. So um, for my thesis, I had this thesis mentor, Professor Eva Castro, who's very radical in her way of thinking, who always pushes me to think out of the box. Sometimes after, like after graduating, I felt like um, I couldn't find a link between what I learned in school and what I'm doing now in the industry with conventional kind of architecture. But like I said, when I went to the event, when I found out about you know this competition and kind of like other um, efforts all around the world against climate change, I realized that for a problem that is as new, as big, and unprecedented as climate change, it really takes the freshness of of the students' minds, of um, people who are more radical thinking, who um, like fresh graduates who don't know yet about the limitations of the industry or of the real world. With um, the expertise of the industry, of the people who are more experienced, I feel like students can really make a difference and you know try to not only not just combat climate change, but to adapt to this new world.